Winter Guard, Snowboarding, and Careers. On to this episode of the Cat's Eye News. and you're watching the Cat's Eye News. With winter around the corner, Winter Guard is starting their season. For more information, I went to one of their captains. Hi, my name is Rosa and I'm a captain of the Color Guard team. Winter Guard is where one can spin flag and rifle and also learn dance, but in indoors. Some people might see us when we're performing with the marching band during halftime at a football game. So it's us who are spinning the flag and the rifles, but again, it's just indoors. So actually, winter auditions are coming up the 27th and 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, at the middle school. And those are auditions for varsity and our JV um, auditions, but it's a non-cut sport, so everybody can join. If you're interested, make sure to go join Novi. What's up, Novi? I'm here to let you know that Dane is meeting on Friday, November 17th in room 226, where civil and human rights advocate Roland Huang will be a guest speaker. Be sure to attend if you're interested. What's up, Novi? Are you interested in crochet? Because there's a new crochet group here at Novi. They're meeting for the first time tomorrow, November 16th in room 160 at 3 p.m. They're going over the basics and all talent levels are welcome. Check out their Instagram page for more. Let's go, Novi. Yesterday, we attended the My Career Quest field trip at the Suburban Collection Showplace along with 150 other Novi students. We saw a lot of cool stuff and learned a ton, so here's a quick preview. And in the coming weeks, we'll be sharing everything. So we're here at the uh, My Career Quest. It's an opportunity for students to check out all sorts of careers related to different areas. We're casting fingers to demonstrate the casting process. A wastewater treatment process. We're working on leg stability. And it teaches you the sterile build of the operating room. So it looks like there's a big boat here. Don't know what it's for. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Just letting letting the convention use it for advertisement purposes. I'm getting a good cut out of it. It's just good business, you know? Are you serious? I'm serious. This is our joystick simulator. So here we're kind of showcasing our V8 engine. But you can do the everything that everyone loves. You already know what that's going to be. The horn? Yes, sir. <laughs> We basically are looking to bring organized high school esports to the Southeast Michigan area. We have the advantage of having a driving simulator where we can replicate several different scenarios. What's up, Novi? Welcome back to Cat's Eye Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Marvels. And if I'm going to be honest, I actually quite liked it. I did not think I would like it going into it. I thought I would give it like at least a 5 out of 10, but that's not the case. The chemistry between the three main characters, Spectrum, Ms. Marvel, and Captain Marvel, was really good, and I actually enjoyed their chemistry. And Iman Vulani, who played uh, Ms. Marvel, I think stood out that movie, really had the best performance. Obviously, the actors who played Spectrum and Brie Larson, who played Captain that Marvel did well in their performances as well. The action was really cool. I really like how they implemented these switching places. I did not think it would work that well, but they pulled it off because the fight teams were really cool. The villain, though, I wasn't really that interested in. It wasn't, the drive was, I could understand the motivation, but it wasn't necessarily something that was interesting enough for me to enjoy in that way. The end credit scene, I really enjoyed. Obviously, no spoilers, but I'm sure a lot of you will get a kick out of it. It was really cool. I would give it a 7 out of 10, and I think you should all still check it out as well. We'll see you later, Nova. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Well, Novi, that was quite the broadcast. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's broadcast, where Neil has an exclusive interview with the new mayor of Novi.